So let's just talk about how we can install and use MongoDB in our computer. So there are basically three ways we can do that. So first of all, we can download the MongoDB community server and we can install that in our local computer and then we can start using MongoDB. Secondly, we can use VS Code editor extension and we can connect with some remote database and we can work with the database direct from our VS Code editor. And thirdly, we can use MongoDB Atlas. So this is one cloud hosted solution. So here we don't have to download anything. We don't have to manage anything. We just log into the cloud database and work on the database and then log out. So first of all, let's talk about how we can download and install community server into our computer. So we have to go to mongodb.com which is the official site. So this is one open source and free to download software. So we have to go to products and then here we have the community edition. So we have to click on this and here we have this download community button. So we have to click on this and then here we can select the version of the software and also we can choose the platform and then we can select the package. Either we can download zip file or we can download the installer and then we have to click on download and the download will start and once the download is completed then we have to install that file so here it is easy to install this we have to just follow along with the instruction so click on next and continue this way and installation will be completed and once the installation is completed then you have to go to the install directory so here we have this mongodb folder so inside that we have to go to we have to go inside this bin folder and inside the bin folder we have so many important files we have this mongo.exe we have mongod.exe now currently if we write mongo in our common prompt it is saying mongo is not recognized so to directly access this from the common prompt we have to set path of this directory so we have to copy this directory and then we have to set the environment variable so we have to click on this we have to set the path so here we have to edit after the semicolon we have to paste our path and then click on ok ok and ok so we have successfully set path of this bin folder so now let's just restart the cmd and now if we run mongo dash dash version and here it shows the version of the mongo so that means we have successfully installed mongodb in our computer now we can directly access that from command prompt so we have done with the first one so let's now see how we can use the vs code editor extension so we are inside this vs code editor now to install the extension we have to go to the extension here we have to search for mongodb here is the extension mongodb for vs code so we have to install this and once the installation is complete then mongodb will be shown right here and from here we can connect to the remote database and we, we can work directly using the cmd and thirdly we can use the mongodb atlas so we don't have to download anything in our computer we just remotely log into the mongodb server and we can work on the database so these are the ways we can install and use mongodb in our computer so hope you understand the concept we'll see you on the next one take care